29th of September every year is a time for our community to say thank you. Thank you to those officers of police who have given themselves in the highest of sacrifice. 61 South Australian police have lost their life in the line of service. Today we say that we remember them. Today we pause to say that the community remembers and we also send our love and thoughts to the family left behind. Days like today, in fact every day is a reminder of the inherent danger of policing. Whilst we as the members of the community are walking away from a situation, often it is police who are walking into danger. So today and every day, we say thank you to police. We acknowledge the service that they undertake every single day and we commit ourselves to the memory of those who have fallen by keeping those who serve as safe and as well resourced as we can. Uh, just to echo the words of the Minister, um, I think everyone understands that policing carries with it inherent dangers. Um, so confronting violent people has, has, I think, always been a part of policing. Uh, we're obviously aware of that and we've taken steps to ensure that we provide as, as, as much equipment and training to our police officers to make them as safe as possible while they're doing their job. But some aspects simply can't be mitigated and, and I think we step into policing understanding that we are going to be put in a situation where we face danger. And that danger sometimes doesn't come from uh, the people we deal with, it comes from the circumstances we respond to. Uh, police are often the first to attend uh, bushfire scenes. Um, uh, we are, uh, we've lost too many police officers who have drowned uh, in, order to, in an effort to save others. So there are a range of factors that we simply can't control, but we do as much as we can to make it as safe as possible for our police. And that includes identifying opportunities for improved safety equipment, making sure that that equipment is um, used appropriately and that the police officers are trained in the use of that equipment. And given that a police officer hasn't died uh, on the beat for 10 years, do you think it's as safe... 20. As it, uh, 20 years, sorry. Do you think it's as safe as it's ever been for them at the moment? I think we put a lot of effort into training our police um, to conduct their duties safely. Uh, we do a lot of um, work to ensure that we assess risk as as competently as possible and that we deploy appropriately to minimise that risk. Uh, the unfortunate situation is um, we simply don't know what's around the corner and we don't know what we're going to confront. Uh, so we rely on that training and discipline to make sure that we, um, we respond properly and minimise the risk. But uh, you know, no one wants to see anyone making that sacrifice. But uh, yeah, we are here to serve the community of South Australia and sometimes that comes at a great cost. And just on a couple of other notes, a four-year-old boy was seriously burned in Myala yesterday. Can you tell us what you know about? Uh, look, it's, it's early stages at the moment, but my understanding is uh, a four-year-old child uh, did receive severe burns. Um, that's currently under investigation. Uh, you know, we certainly feel for the family in these circumstances. Uh, it will be a, a matter that will be the subject of ongoing investigation. Um, I don't have a lot more at this point in time. And I understand that Bob's uh, talking about road safety uh, this afternoon, but just adding to that from yourself as well. Do you think it's time that we start to see double demerit points over the long weekend? Uh, we certainly encourage people to think about their driving behaviours, not, not just at the, the, the beginning of a long weekend or as they're travelling home from uh, a weekend away, but you know, every time we use our roads we should be thinking about doing so safely, think about you know, our own safety and the safety of those around us. Um, the issue of uh, double demerits has been uh, used in other jurisdictions around Australia. Um, I'd need to see some uh, concrete evidence that it makes a difference to the way people use our roads. Uh, sadly, there are a lot of people out there who have no regard for their own safety or the safety of others and it doesn't matter what uh, uh, penalties you put in place, uh, it's not going to change their behaviour. Uh, I think invariably that the vast majority of South Australian road users uh, do their best to drive safely. Uh, but Poor decision making, uh, a lapse in judgment, a lapse in concentration can have devastating consequences. Uh, I think we just need to remember that we, we need to be responsible on our roads and, and treat them with respect. And just lastly, uh, this morning a retired police officer has been jailed for drug trafficking. What's your response to that? Uh, look, it's uh, currently still within its appeal period, so there's not a lot that I would say. but. Uh, I suppose the, the takeaway message is that police officers are not above the law. Um, in fact, I would suggest, uh, given the responsibilities and authorities we have within the community and our obligation to investigate crime, 
that there is a higher standard for police. Um, I will let this particular case unfold, but uh, uh, given the outcome of the, the criminal prosecution process um, uh, it, uh, and a custodial sentence being uh, applied, uh, I think that reflects the seriousness of the offending. Uh, however, we'll wait and see whether there's any appeal lodged. Thank you. Sorry, so there's, um, this is a question from a reporter on another location. But are uh, South Australian police investigating, uh, having any investigations into the office hack? Uh, no, my understanding is that's being managed by the Australian Federal Police. Thank you. Thank you.